To begin with, this presentation will discuss a saturated calomel electrode. What is it used for in general? What type is it? What's the meaning of calomel? What are the components of the electrode? How does it work? And its advantages and disadvantages. The meaning of calomel is that it consists of mercury in contact with solution that is saturated with mercury chloride. And this is called a calomel. The saturated calomel electrode, or SCE in short, is a reference electrode based on the reaction between elemental mercury and mercury chloride. The whole idea behind this machine is to figure out the potential through the concentration. The galvanic cell consists of two electrodes, reference and indicator. A reference is a constant. We always have it, so that means we can always get the indicator through the reference. And this is basically the whole purpose of this device. The components consist of PT wire, opening, saturated KCL solution, glass wall, wire lead, salt bridge, and last but not least, KCL. Type, second type. Electrode reaction, HG2 plus Cl2 plus 2E equals 2HG plus 2Cl negative. Nernest equation, E25 degrees Celsius equals E0 minus 0.05916 over 2 log Cl negative to the power of 2. Saturated calomel electrode. Advantages of the calomel electrode include that it is easy to set up and easily reproducible. It is convenient and easy to transport. It's very compact and smaller in size, which means it requires little space. No separate cell bridge is required, as it already has a side tube containing KCL solution. And last but not least, potential does not change appreciable with time and a slight change in temperature. These advantages of calomel electrode include that when half cell potentials are to be measured, compensation for potential is necessary. Calomel electrode cannot be used in the measurement of potentials of the cell where K and Cl ions interfere in the electrochemical reactions of the cell. The oxidation potential of the electrode depends on the concentration of the KCl. If the concentration of KCl changes, then the potential of the electrode changes as well. And, last but not least, temperature is a dependent factor.